Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to this series of electrical B7 power system engineering BO exam and this is a question from May 2024 so it's a very very close uh, exam in terms of time of course and this ex uh, question has two parts one to five so I'm solving three to five which is the numerical parts and one to two are more of, uh, basically conceptual questions I might come to them later uh, later on so let's start with part number three of this question and this question says here there is a single phase transformer giving you the rated value and step up so it goes from 2400 volt to 240 volt and the transformer has it gives you the equivalent approximate circuit which is lumping sum the primary and the secondary resistance and inductance so we need to use this model basically to calculate certain things but at this load conditions which is 40 kVA at a unity power factor this is very important there is a difference between the condition that I want to calculate and the rated value of the transformer sometimes it says to you calculate these values at the rated condition which is the 50 kVA but in this question it asks you to do it at a different rating conditions now we have a similar question but the power factor was lagging and the requirements are a little bit different so let me first draw the model here so we have here the windings which is basically here it's a 2 ohm and j 8.3 for the reactance this is the core model shunt of course so this is your rc 10k ohms and this is j 4.5 kilo ohms now this is everything says here referred to the high voltage side okay so the parameters are referred to the high voltage side so this means that this is a v2 which is a is the ratio which is 10 so this is 2400 the current here is i2 over a and this is your v1 and this is basically the primary current I I1. This is basically your your I I1. Okay. So let's let's start with part A. So we need to find the primary voltage. To find the primary voltage, the first thing we have to find is the secondary current, and this is always the the approach. So how to find I2 over A? We use the rated condition. So here we use the uh, S, which is 40 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by the voltage which is 2400 and this will give me 16.67 angle of 0 so this is your A now I wanted to find V1 just simple KVL is equal to 2400 angle of 0 so we always give this is as our reference angle of 0 plus the current times this impedance which is the 16.67 angle of zero again because this is a unity power factor times 2 plus j 8.3 and this will give you a voltage equal to 2437.3 and an angle of 3.25 so this is the first requirement b find the primary current i1 so if you apply kcl i1 is i2 over a times what I will call I core IC and I am the magnetization branch so your I1 is I2 over A plus IC plus I M and this will give me I2 over A 16.67 angle of zero plus IC is the voltage that uh, we have at the primary side that we just calculate which is 2437.3 angle of 3.25 divided by for your IC 10,000 and for your IM 2437.3 angle of 3.25 divided by J 4500 and this will give me a current equal to 16 point 95 angle of minus 17.7 uh, sorry uh, minus 1.78 amps okay so that is the current c find that efficiency efficiency is equal to p out 
over p n. Now your p out is equal to using the power triangle s times the power factor, which is equal to 40 times 10 to power 3 times 1, which is equal to 40 kilowatt. So this is your p out. Okay, so what I need to calculate now is your Pn. Your Pn is very straightforward. Is the voltage V1, I1, cosine of theta V1 minus theta of I1. And this, if you do the multiplication, V1 is equal to 2437.3. The current is equal to, which is I1, is equal to uh, basically uh, 16.95 times cosine of theta v, which is 3.25 minus 1.78, the angle of the current, and this will give me a Pn equal to 41.153 kilowatt. So your efficiency is equal to 40,000 divided by 41,153 times 100, and this will give me 97.2%. Okay, now part D, the voltage regulation is equal to V no load minus V full load divided by the V full load. Now, the no load, of course, we refer here the voltage at the secondary side. All of them. The voltage regulation is done at the secondary side. Now the V full load, we know it. This is the this is the 2400. The V no load is your V secondary at that condition. Uh, sorry, V primary at that condition. Because when your primary voltage, when it is equal to 2437.3, this is equal to 2400. If I remove the load, there will be no voltage drop, and this voltage will be exactly equal to this voltage. So the voltage equation is equal to 2437.3 minus 2400 divided by 2400 times 100. Mm -hmm. And this will give me 1.55%. Okay, so that is the first part of the question. The second part says that this the second part is a reverse engineering question. Now we know the parameters that we got them from the open circuit test and the short circuit test. Now is it's asking you to find the values of the open circuit test and the short circuit test if we conduct them. Okay, so this is part, this is four. So the open circuit test, basically what we do, we have the transformer. Now I will use the model to explain what we are doing here. So this is your, basically your two, this is your J8.3. Uh, this is the 10K, and this is the J4.5K. Uh, now we don't care much about this in the no load test. So in the load, load test, we apply the rated voltage. Now we say that everything here refer to the high voltage side. So your V open circuit is the 2400 volt. So this is the first thing from the open circuit test. Now, when you apply this voltage, V open circuit, which is the 2400, this will be an open circuit, okay? So this I will equal to zero, no voltage drop. So we apply the rated voltage here. Now the current I open circuit is these two currents. So your I open circuit is equal to the 2400 angle of zero divided by 10,000 plus the 2400 angle of zero divided by J4500, and this will give me a total current equal uh, to 0 0.5845 angle of minus 65.76. Now, this is the current because we measure only RMS value, so that is the current of I open circuit. Now, to find P open circuit, we can find it in two different ways. You can say that basically it is, as we did in the previous part, it's V open circuit, I open circuit, cosine of theta V open circuit minus theta of I open circuit. And when you substitute all the values here, you will get 575.93 something. What? 
or you can say that your p out is equal to v open circuit square divided by rc so it's basically equal to 2400 square divided by 10,000 and this will give me the same value almost 576 watt as well so these are the three values you will have had them basically from the from the open circuit open circuit test okay now let's do the short circuit test now in the short circuit test what we have we have the transformer like this short circuited this is the branch the the primary branch and this is basically your you apply here i rated value okay so the rated value here in the short circuit test this is your i short circuit is your rated test now this is also referred to the high voltage sign so your i short circuit is your rated current which we calculate at the beginning which is the 16.67 amps this is your i short circuit okay now we need to find b short circuit b short circuit basically mainly is the power that coming from this winding okay now there is some power coming from here okay but we ignore this so your b short circuit is equal to i short circuit square times r equivalent which is equal to 16.67 squared times 2 and this will give me 555.8 watt and then your v short circuit is equal to your i short circuit times z just kvl so this is your v short circuit so it is a very reduced voltage from the rated voltage we don't apply the rated voltage we apply only rated current Okay, so the I short circuit will just multiply the magnitude is 16.67 times uh, your uh, Z is the Z magnitude is, of course, the square root of 2 square plus 8.3 square. And this will give me a voltage equal to 142.3 volt. So these are the values of the short circuit test and the open circuit test. The final part is determine the four uh, power, voltage, current, and impedance per unit base values for each of the windings. So the transformer here, basically, this is my transformer. So this is 2400. This is 240. So this is two zones, basically. So we have the power, P base, so the power base. We have the V base, the I base, and the Z base for each side of the transformer. The P base is the rated value okay, of the transformer, which is the 50 kVA or the 50 kilowatt. And this is the same at both sides. So the P rated value is exactly the same at both sides. The V base is the rated voltage of the transformer at the primary and at the secondary. So this is 2400 and this is 240. The I base just apply the power over the, over the voltage, assuming a power factor equal to one. So your I base here is 50,000 divided by 2400 and this will give me 20.8 three amps here it is 50,000 divided by 2000 sorry 240 and this will give me 208.3 amp finally z base is v over i ohm's law so this is 2400 divided by 20.83 and this will give me a base value of z base uh, 115.22 ohms and here it will give me basically uh, 240 divided by 208.3 and this is equal to 1.152 ohms. So these are the base values at each zone or each side of the, of the transformer.